We're gonna go to my friend's island and get all my stuff back. Woo! Just waiting for her to... I've been stung in the face like four times. I'm just waiting for her to um, open up her island and also send me a code because we are not friends anymore. I made a snow boy. He was the first one, so he didn't tell me how badly I made him, but I think it was pretty close. I think he's pretty close. His bottom half might be too big, but he looks great. Shala, we dance, we dance. I decided in my first run of the game that I don't fix my face when I get stung by bees. <laughs> Especially in this part where you're shaking all the trees every single day. Nah, I didn't, I didn't have a net. I just like ran in circles. It was rough. Yeah, get in the code. This kills me. I don't have a shovel yet. And I cannot get this. And I'm just like, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Shake. Oh, a good stick tree. Come on. Yeah. That's a good, them some good sticks. Got it. All sticked up. I feel like my footprints should last longer in the snow. These are notes, notes from from me for Nintendo. Footprints should last longer in the snow. Get good, fools. I didn't mean that. <laughs> also, bringing my stuff back is gonna take forever. I don't think she gave me the whole code. That seems kind of short. Taking all my stuff back is going to take forever because I have such a tiny pockets. I have such tiny pockets. Hello, Orville. I attempted to go to her island and then again, just like when I started the game, I pressed the wrong button three different times because I was not paying any attention. <laughs> So, focus. I want to fly. Yes. You want to head to nearby island and local play or some far off island using online play? We moved all my stuff on local play, so... <laughs> Let me connect you to the old internet for some online play then. Thanks. I already went through all the, uh... Hey, do you promise not to sue us if you get kidnapped and your body gets deposited into three separate garbage bags because you're dumb and you told someone where you live? Good, thanks. Love that for you. So, yep. Use Dodo Code. Hey, would you like to enter the Dodo Code for me? I sure would, Orville. One of my favorite characters in the whole game. He's the greatest. F. D. B. Seven. D. And if somehow you don't know how this works, this won't work by the time you see this video, so no creep in my stuff. Let's go! Getting ready to depart. I get to, I get to read my favorite joke in the entire game. I'm so excited. <laughs> Alrighty then, you're all set. And I didn't read the rest fast enough. It's okay. You know what he says. Something about dodos and not dying. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Six sunglasses. I get to get my clothes back. I don't have to look like a farmer anymore. <laughs> Did that plane change colors? Was that plane blue before? I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh my gosh. I have to remember to pause. Oh yes, this is your captain. We're almost rarity, so please prepare for landing. Return your seats to the upright position and make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Local time is 7.56. We've got clear skies and the temperature is comfortable. We'll be making a water landing, but that's okay because this is a seaplane. That is my favorite joke. I <laughs> My absolute favorite joke in this entire game. We are making a sea landing, but that is okay because this is a seaplane. I 
someone made a meme about some sort of apocalyptic event and then it said, but this is okay because, but that's okay because this is a seaplane and I died laughing. I still find it funny. That's great. You can explain to me how to chat, which I am not doing. Hello. Ah. Oh. I can't. I. Yeah, I can't wave. Yeah, circles. <laughs> Look at all her cute villagers. Oh, she's got this guy and this guy, and there's her little flag. Oh, it's a happy birthday. This is Jisoo Cheese Island. The villagers. Okay. Woo! I'm not sophisticated enough to, like, pour her in. Where's her store? Uh, wait. It's... Hold on. I'm dumb. Where is it? Town hall. It's this way. Don't run through the flowers. They have a very... Aha! I don't want the clothing store. I actually want this one. So I can get a shovel! <laughs> Take that, Tom Nook. I also have four million dollars on this island. <laughs> so... <laughs> Give me recipes. Give me recipes. Come on. Yes! Okay, I got that one. Uh, flimsy axe. That's right. Yup, gimme. Gimme. Yeah. Cheatin'. Cheatin'. Flimsy shuffle. Yes. I grow powerful. I grow more and more powerful with every purchase. I feel like a child that just discovered Amazon and my parents' credit card is already signed in. Watering can! Heck yeah! I don't- I don't think I have this one yet. Let's go! What's that? Slingshot I have. Ladder. Oh, I'm gonna get the pole! I can leave the little circle! Vaulting pole! <laughs> I'm gonna show you who's boss, Tom Nook. And she's got peaches. Pitfall seed. This is... I... <laughs> Do I need this right now? No. <laughs> I loved putting these everywhere. When I used to hold um, events for our J Fashion community on my island, I would hide pitfall seeds all over the place. <laughs> uh, okay, I got beginners. Did I get this one? This one's really expensive. I think they wouldn't sell it to me. If I already had it. Okay. Yeah. Gimme. Let's go. Thank you. Jisoo Chi's working on commissions, so they're not gonna be following us around or anything. Oh, medicine for my face. I have enough for that. I'll fix it this one time. No, I'm not. I'm gonna pick up sunglasses off the ground in a second. I don't need to do that. Okay. Come on, shovel. Oh, it's 2,000. I don't have it much anymore. I will in two seconds. Uh, what else you got? That's good. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I'm all tooled up. You're welcome. Time to learn. I also have a bunch of recipes that I just, thank goodness they let you put recipes in your inventory now because leaving them lying around everywhere sucked. It was like, your island is dirty. And I'm like, you won't let me, what am I supposed to do with these? So it would just be like, you know, my flooded fish basement was full of recipe cards and fish because there's nowhere else to put them. I can't like, I guess you could throw them out into the trash, but that just felt like a waste. Here I am, full of knowledge. Yes. Yes. Danger. <laughs> Goodbye, boys. See you on my island in a number of days. Well, you're already on my island. You just don't have your own, like, digs. All right. 
What's this? Is this an ABM? <gasps> I can deposit my money without having to travel to my house. Okay, so this is, these are all my flowers. <laughs> gonna take a little while to get them back on my island. <laughs> These are all my flowers because there's two of every single color. I don't know why they're like all over the place. But anyway, I'm assuming that I mean, maybe they've been breed. I think they don't breed in the sand, so it shouldn't be. She doesn't need this. She won't need this. What's it, what's it say? Thirst for knowledge. Yeah, okay. Cherry speakers. Yeah, she definitely knows how to make that already. I'll just get that uh, in there. Yes. All right. First step. Money. This is my stuff. <laughs> my bell trees. <laughs> More of my stuff. Just do a quick tour of all my stuff. Oh, here's a recipe card. I can just take that. Now, for the most part, I'm just going to pick stuff up and put it back down because I don't really have, like, I can't be constantly shuffling stuff all over my island while I build it because I have nowhere to put it yet. So I'm mostly just going to catalog. I'm going to make sure the catalog works at this phase. But, um, yeah, I'm mostly going to just catalog all the stuff. And I'm only going to take, like, the fossils and the clo some clothes, like the materials, you know, like fossils and music and wood, um, gold, that kind of stuff. And some of the clothes that I don't want to rebuy. I'm not going on an adventure, sir. Pants. What kind of pants we got? School pants. Not really what I want right now. I am looking for money. Or, oh, there we go. We got some money. We got some money. There's $4 million in bills just lying on the ground in this island. <laughs> but I think, oh, well, I guess I'm going to hold that. What was that? Oh, this I do want. I'm going to drop it anyway. This is where my uh, things from Gulliver must be set kept. Because I want to keep all my Gulliver stuff, and all the star, all the stars, and all the fossils, and all the, like I said, like the gold and rocks, and like that kind of stuff. <laughs> KK, KK was on the island when I was dumping money out for her to take over. And I was like, KK, casually playing his music while I empty an entire bank on the ground next to him. <laughs> oh. I will have to go deposit my money. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. It was right here. Deposit the money. Yeah. All of it. Yep. That's almost half. Your little squeak squawks. I know that's not what they're called. Wait, are those mine? No, those aren't mine. Mine are all leafies. I was like, Jisoo, make sure your sister doesn't take my giant piles of money. Oh, she's cleaning up her weeds. <laughs> You're supposed to be working on commissions. Not cleaning weeds. More money. I have music playing that you guys can't hear. Sorry if I randomly sing horrendously off key to it. Or hum it or whatever. I wish it was this easy in real life to just pick up a million dollars. Just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go to my beach and get my million, get my deposits. <laughs> pick up several banks. It's like a robbery. Is there more money back here? I can't tell. Imagine losing a hundred thousand dollars because it's just in the shade of a tree. Like, <laughs> what? 
Oh, I'm out of I'm out of way. Okay. I can't possibly carry any more money. <laughs> First world problems. There's the last of it. I let her keep. She's gonna keep some of those flowers. Confirm. And I know some of you are probably like, you could just give her some of that money. She did all this work. I'm like, yeah, she's going to sell all the stuff that I'm not taking. <laughs> I wanted to give her the cash. She could just sell all my things because I'm not taking them back. I might sell some of them too. Whoa. Eh, eh, eh. She messaging me. I saw her thinking about. Oh, that's not supposed to be. Okay, that's not gonna be there. Okay. Did she message me? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a chat log. Oops. Okay, good. She hasn't said anything. She's typing. Okay. Get the rest of my money! Watched the new episode of Solo Leveling. Kind of watched it. I should have paid more attention because I could. It was dope, but I was very distracted by my phone. So I am probably gonna have to watch it again. But man, that show is a plus. I am excited. I'm excited for a better rendition of Kirito to yet again save the world. Like, he's way cooler. I like, I love Sword Art Online, just to completely out myself shamelessly. I do, in fact, like Sword Art Online. It is what it is. Um, but, uh, I'm a trace. Um, a lot of these, like, like, I don't know if, if, if you haven't watched Solo Leveling, it's this guy who, like, he doesn't actually go to another world or get trapped in the game. The game kind of comes to him. How much money do I have in my pockets right now? I want to keep like a hundred thousand. So let's do uh, I just don't want any of my pockets because I have tiny pockets. I think that that was, I'm just gonna deposit it all and then withdraw the amount I want. I don't wanna do math right now. <laughs> that was completely wrong. Full amount, confirm. There you go. Now I will withdraw 99,000. Anyway, yeah, there was like a big fight and it was very, very, very dope. Why are you following me? <laughs> Did you say something? No. We. I'm just gonna run in a circle. Normally, this is the part where I would hit her with a stick, but I don't have one because I'm too busy holding bags full of money. All right. I, sh I don't know if I should do the flowers. I don't think I should. As a, why am I taking her shells? That's like, <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> Oh, she's asking me uh, if I can put eight money in the ATM from here. I can! So good. Because I couldn't put it on my own ATM because then it would have just been deleted from my island. Okay. Uh, I think I should go through and get all the stuff that's like... I'm just going to take the shells. I'm going to take all the stuff that's materials because that stuff has to go back to my island. So I want to find my gold nuggets and my, like... And then I can pull vault to a corner. Pick where I'm going to put all my flowers. Okay, so we've got a music note. And... Nope, put that down. What is it? A laptop. Drop. Drop it! Okay. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna get all the materials and then I'm gonna get all the fossils and then I'll come back and get the flowers and then whatever's left, I have to catalog. This, uh, this is coming with me, first anniversary cake. I have accidentally eaten a bunch of cake, <laughs> which you can't get back. Not that one though. They don't let you eat the first anniversary cake and I have two of those for some reason, so. Oh, right, I know, I was like, why do I have two? I have two accounts, duh. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't need this rug. What is this? I don't need to hold this rug. Actually, I do. That's a mom's kitchen. I can't order that. Give me these fossils, which I can't use yet because I don't have a museum yet. But man, when I do, these are all the fossils. Oh, I ran out of my pockets. They're full. Drop it. Drop it. What have I got? Seashells. Music. I don't think the music notes stack. Okay. This is all coming back to my... This is all coming back with me. Let's go. Let's go. Resist urge to shake bell trees. Don't do it. Oh, <laughs> she's doing a sploot. Airport so far away from beach. Is this it? Did I guess right? Yes. <laughs> Hello. All right. I'm going to try and like cut out the excessive amount of traveling that I'm going to do because it is the most boring thing to ever exist. I was watching um, Griffin McElroy play with his brothers and I do believe it was him. It's probably him that had like a whole rant about how dumb it is that we have to watch this whole animation. They could have done literally anything else <laughs> for when you travel between islands. It's just like, come on! It could have been a mini game. It could have been pictures or ads or not ads but you know like fake commercials it could even be the same in-flight movie or something but instead it's like this just forever <laughs> there we go this is your captain we're almost on to luna lush return to your seat your seat to its upright position and make sure your seatbelt is fashioned local time is 8 14 p.m and you've got clear skies and the temperature is comfortable We'll be making a water landing, but that's okay, because this is a seaplane. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. I think the animation that he was complaining about specifically isn't one that you see when you're traveling to another place. It's when somebody's coming to your island, and it just, like, has that slow, like, three, like, four or five circles that just, like, slowly light up as they arrive. And he's just like, I hate this! Why is this a thing? Fair. Completely fair. Okay, so I have the recipe to build a pole. But I don't think I have any of the stuff I need to build a pole. We are going to sacrifice this beach over here to be all the stuff I can't hold in my super tiny lady pockets. This is what I get for wearing pants. If you aren't wearing pants, technically, your pocket space is endless. Everything is a pocket if you try hard enough. I don't know if I want to put that out. I don't want to know if I want to kind of put that kind of vibe out into the world. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Okay. I want to place this right here. I don't know. I think it might get mad at me because I'm on an edge place. Yeah. I'll take a single step forward. So sorry, Animal Crossing. Let's go! First anniversary cake. Ta-da! I can't do the ta-da thing. I keep thinking I have emotes, but I don't have any. Yeah, so if you watched the uh, my old island video, all of these open, all these fossils that are bones are the cast of the movie We're Back. Uh, a dinosaur story. If you don't know what that is, Google it. There's a, uh, I watched the trailer when I was making um, a short <laughs> about it. And uh, I completely forgot about the wish granting space wizard that is like the integral piece of the plot. 
And also, those dinosaurs are all aliens. They're not from the past. They are from the future or a different planet. You know what? It's all very vague. It's very vague. <laughs> very vague premise. Hey, Orville. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies. The Luna Lush Airport. You can charge whatever you want, and yet it is free. This is how the world should be. How can I help you out today? I want to fly. I do. Roger. You want to head to a nearby island on local play or some far off island on online play? No, I did it again. Darn it. <laughs> Ugh, never mind. Start again. Pay attention. I'm not reading it this time. I want to fly. Online play. Go, go, go. Gotcha, let me connect you to the old internet for some online play then. Roger. Roger, Roger. We are connecting to the internet. Wop. How do you want to travel? I don't think I friended her. Is that a thing? I, I think that's a thing I have to do. <laughs> So, uh, I have to type this in again, and then I have to get her to be my friend so I don't have to do this every single time. Ah! Fid I don't know if it's seven. Zgemmer Queen. <laughs> they were on last time I was recording, too, and I still don't know who they are. <laughs> Oh, you've got to fly for rarity right now. Is that where I want to go? It sure is, Orville. We're going to be doing this like 90 times. Because I have tiny pockets. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm all set. Alright, here we go. What would dodos do? Oh, okay. I don't actually know why dodos... Dodos don't exist, right? They're extinct because they're, they were too dumb. That's the rumor. The rumor was, or they're like flight, they were flightless birds. I knew that the being flightless birds is part of the joke. And I'm like, not, okay, while the seaplane flies for 10,000 years, I'm gonna just do a quick little, dodos are extinct, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, I don't want your updates. Dodos are ex, oh, they're not? Oh, that's a book got me all excited. They went extinct in 1681. Um, I'm a little behind. I'm a little behind on the curve on that one, I guess. The dodo is frequently cited as one of the most well-known examples of human introduced, human induced extinction and also serves as a symbol of Obsolescence with respect to human technological project progress. Uh, I promise I read good. That's a lie. I'm dyslexic. You have to just deal with it. It's okay. Why did the dodos go extinct? Okay, no more dodos. Focus. <laughs> this is not a time to fall down a YouTube hole. This is a time to run back and forth and get stuff off of the island. Go, 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 go. Hold on. I can't. Uh, uh. There's like a friend app. Friend app. Yep. Yep. I'm not even reading it. Please don't make me skip things. You become. Now I can dig. Yay! And there we go. Beautiful. Now I can dig. I need to bring a shovel with me next time. All right. Get the stuff. Get the stuff. If the dodo thing was in front of me and not on a screen all the way over there, which you can't see what I mean, but it's quite far from my line of sight. <laughs> uh, whatever that is, it's coming with me. What is it? Sandcastle. No, that can stay. Be gone. Parasaur tail. This is coming with me. These are expensive. And I want this chunk of fence. 
and the star flakes and the songs. Okay, good. I thought I missed. I'm spot on. I was playing um, today while I was waiting for a meeting to start and found out that fishing without sound is super difficult. Because uh, <laughs> of my setup right now and the cheapness of the stuff I had to do. Oh no. What are these? What are these? School pants. Again with the school pants. Get out of my life. Shoo. I'll, you'll have your time. Wait, what are these? Wingtip shoes. Oh, <laughs> time to wear some wingtip. Please be a good color. That's great. Now I'm dandy. I don't need these yellow whatevers. Get out of here. Be gone. All right. I got... Ugh. Fine, I'll just take the school pants. Jeez. Okay, now my pockets are full. Drop it! Drop it! That is, a uh, Weirdly enough, that specific way of saying it. <laughs> it's the bravest warrior's quote. I got sugar peas! Drop it! Ah! Cat bug. If you don't know who Catbug is, it's another thing you should Google. Go Google a Google goggle the Catbug. As soon as I'm on this plane, I'm reading more about why dodos are extinct. <laughs> Very important. Let's go, Orville. I need to find out about the end of your race. You're holding us up. I want to go home. Race? Species. <laughs> Animals have species, not races. <laughs> All right. I won't miss out on my sea joke. My seaplane joke. All right. Clear skies to ya. Perfect. Okay. So the dodo bird, according to the um, American Museum of Natural History. Is this thing actually huge? Uh, the dodo is a lesson extinction found by Dutch soldiers around 1600 on an island in the Indian Ocean. The dodo became extinct less than 80 years later because of the deforestation, hunting, and destruction of their nests by animals brought to the island by the Dutch. It's the Dutch's fault. Specifically them. The dodo... Oh, I'm, I'm not going to miss my joke. We'll be making a water landing, but that's okay because this is a seaplane. Anyway... The dodo may not always have been flightless. Oh, dodos are related to pigeons, one group of which dispersed over water to, I cannot say the name of this place, M-A-U-R-I-T-I-U-S, Maritis, Tios, something like that. Um, they're presumably because of the lack of predators, the dodo grew larger and became flightless. So first the Dutch made the dodos fat, fat and then... And then it, they made them dead. <laughs> Interesting. So the next dodo fact we look up is how big were they? Because this picture of a skeleton that I'm seeing is, uh, I mean, it has no point of reference for size, but it looks pretty heckin' big. Like, it's size large. Like, I, when you're like, oh, there's like, it's related to the pigeon. And I'm like, pigeons are like football size. Like, they're fully chuckable. But the size, do not, okay, hold on. Full stop. Full stop. Do not throw pigeons. <laughs> do not harm pigeons. Moving on. Um, yeah, the skeleton that they're showing me is like easily two, two golden retrievers stacked on top of each other. <laughs> easily. <laughs> so gonna have to um gonna have to find out if it's a football or several dogs <laughs> now i'm just thinking about the airbud movies they were not good oh i don't really need to put the pants down i'm gonna put the pants up here because i'm gonna sell them drop what is this song you can't hear it, but it's like a Vocaloid version of the song from Sailor Moon in um, Sailor Mercury's episode about that boy that 
was her best friend when she was a kid. Just call my name and I'll be there. But it sounds like Vocaloids. I'm not feeling it right now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Back to dumping stuff on the ground. Okay. My beautiful, beautiful stars. I should probably put these inside my tent in case I have people come over to help me do stuff, but... I'm not gonna let them- oh, I do not need to build a fence here. That is fine. Put that away. Stop getting crazy. Jesus. Jababus. Moving on. Alright. Back to the plane and back to more dodo facts. Go, 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 go. Speed run. Well, I can't speed run this. It's just- our internet connection is actually pretty good. Like, this is pretty fast. I need to Google while this loads. How big? I want. I always thought that the dodos and the kiwis were um, related, for no reason at all. Like I, I have no idea why I think that. <laughs> Maybe it's just because they are both going extinct. Maybe. Okay, don't press local play. Don't press. Don't press local play. We got it. Okay. I did it. I did it! Roger! Now I can friend search instead of type letters. How, not who big, how big. How? No, not ho big, how big? How? 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 Big? Are? Were? I'm gonna search for a friend! Because we're friends again! Ooh! Okay, so the auto-populate for how big were... How big were Velociraptors? How were big were Petrodactyls? Oh, drumsticks. Looks like what? Ugh. Oh, it's because she set it up for a code. So I do have to type the code. Dang it! I'm gonna get to this island without pressing the wrong button. At least one time. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I don't blame you, Orville. I don't blame you. You're perfect. You were murdered by the Dutch. So. <laughs> Online play. Okay, we got the first button. First hurdle passed. Roger. Do your little flippy flappies. Okay, how big were the dodo... Dodo... Birds. Oh, I was going to tell you how many... Okay, backing up. Who, what else they asked how big? How do I want to travel? I want to use a code. We're going to put the code in again. And then I'm going to try to type it. Uh, yeah, let's put the code in. Dodo code TM. Got to make sure that nobody else uses that dope... A little acronym thingy you made. No, that's wrong. There we go. Please tell me I didn't type it wrong. I better not have put an F at the end. Darn it! <laughs> I'm good at games, I promise. I'll play Call to the Lamb and you'll see that I'm better at games than this. <laughs> You know what? I have a problem. The problem is, is that I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ignore that. How big were space Velociraptors? Ter ter well, it's pterodactyls. Pterodactyls is what that says. Neanderthals, dinosaurs, mammoths, trilobites, Vikings, megalodons, Ronnie Coleman's arms. I don't know who that is. <laughs> now I've clicked on that instead of facts about dodo birds. Uh, um, yes, I know. I know. I have to go through this all again because I'm too dumb. But I'm learning so much about dodo birds and Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> it's very important. Ronnie Coleman's arms were 22 inches is that a lot for arms? I feel like it can't be. No, oh, it's not long. 
<laughs> thought it was 22 inches long. And I'm like, that's not even a whole ruler. Well, no, wait. Yeah, ruler's 12. So it's two, almost two rulers. I mean, that's probably like a little less, like a lot less than average. What button did I just press? Did I just press the wrong button again? Please tell me I didn't press the wrong button again talking about Ronnie Coleman's arms. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Just watch me completely fail to do something so simple for five full minutes. Why? Okay, I should know this code. It is F D. It's Franklin David Bart. Seven of nine. <laughs> I mean, D. <laughs> David? I don't... That's not going to help me remember the code. <laughs> She's totally on her island being like, Why are you gone so long? What are you doing? I need to go to bed. I'm a fly. <laughs> We're going to learn about Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> I hope he's not a criminal. Because... <laughs> I don't know why it asked this. We're getting ready to depart. Alrighty. What would dodos do? Get killed by the Dutch? <laughs> okay, we're flying. Um, eight times Mr. Olympia. Whatever that means. Ronnie Coleman weighs a whopping 349 pounds off season. So the in-season Ronnie Coleman, when it's Ronnie Coleman season, you'll know because he weighs more than 340 pounds. His arms have measured at 22 inches, and he has the record for most wins at IFBB events at 26. I'm assuming that IFBB has something to do with weightlifting, but I am going to try and guess that it is... Ingress, Ingress Flowers Blooming Beautifully, and he is a proactive gardener um, who work, is working really hard against invasive species of flowers in South America. Good job, Mr. Olympia, Ronnie Coleman, protecting South America's rainforests from invasive flowers. How big were dodo birds? <laughs> there we go. All right. We're not flying right now, so the answer to how big were dodo birds is uh, coming later. <laughs> coming later. All right. My pockets are empty, right? Okay, thank God. Okay. Getting materials. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. Follow the path. The path gets me there. We all right. Oh, oh, okay. We got some stars. We want those. Okay, what is that? I just picked up. Do we want it? Basic teacher's desk. No, <laughs> don't need to take that with me. I have all the. This must be where all the stuff for my mall, the mall that I built, is kept. I'm debating because when I make my ooh moon rug, I do like that rug. Um, when I remake my house, I didn't really have a lot going on in my house that was very house-like. It was just kind of like, yeah, I made a bedroom, I had a flooded basement, and a room only for the Ninja Turtles, and, um, <laughs> and the, um, oh man, what did I call them? Squeak squonks? You know, the squeak squonks. They go, and they just sound like suffering. Those things, the things, you know, the things. I knew their name for a second. That second is not now. But anyway, yeah, so I had like three rooms that were completely wasted. Oh, I want these pies. And the birthday cake. Don't eat the birthday cake. Whatever glasses these are, they're not going to cover my smashed face, though. But I am going to put them on. There we go. Now they're framed black eyes. What's this? Fancy kimono. Music. 
What's this? I want some sunglasses. Double bridge glasses. Dowel apron. Seashells. Fish food. Imperial butterfly model. No, no, no. Fish food. Yeah, that's that's materials. Fancy funny glasses. Oh, wait. That would be great. That would cover up my smashed face. Where are these? Yes! Haha, <laughs> take that, bees. All right. Uh, my pockets are full. Nope, I got one more thing. Do I want birthday cake? I need a cake. I'll take a cake. Mom's homemade cake. Got it. All right. My pockets are full. I am running across the world to save the day yet again. And once we get to the airport, we will find out that dodos are either the size of a football or the size of two golden retrievers stacked on top of each other. <laughs> I you realize if they're bigger than a football, I'm going to have to Google how tall a golden retriever is and see if it's the same <laughs> as the height of a dodo. The answer is literally to the left of my peripheral vision, and I just simply choose not to perceive it at this time. It will come. It will come along. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna- going home is so much easier than coming here. <laughs> okay, approximately. Okay, dodos were large birds. Okay, we're moving more into dog territory. All right, clear skies to you. Thanks, Orville. Dodos were large birds, approximately three feet tall, with downy gray feathers and a white plume for a tail. The dodo has tiny wings and its sternum, an area with strong wing muscles for flying birds, was correspondingly small. The massive birds could reach a body weight of more than 20 kilograms. So that almost means something to me, because I'm in Canada, but... To the Americanos, you have no idea what that means. So... Did you say kilograms? Kilograms. I'm gonna make that pounds for you. Wait, we'll be making a water landing, but that's okay, because this is a seaplane. Um... Uh... Pounds. Right? That's what you use? Pounds? Yeah, pound. It says pound. It doesn't... It's weird. Okay, so it says pound. So 20 kilograms is about 44 pounds. That is... Okay, so three feet tall. Oh, we're not going to find out until after. I have to find out how tall a golden retriever is and see if two of them are three feet tall. <laughs> and also how much they weigh. Are you told... Is this bird two golden retrievers or not? Stay tuned. Uh, This stuff's not that stuff. I'll ditch the... I'll ditch the fossil here. This guy. And I think after I... Oh, well that's... Of course not. That, that would make too much sense. Having this not be super organized is really like... I need to move this carpet and I need to move this new... Mu yeah, mag music... Magic note. Music note. Because they cannot be disorganized. I cannot handle it. It's very upsetting to my face. Uh, star flakes are here. Drop. Drop. You have to gather these, like, I think in the specific month that they are from. So, getting all the colors takes a lot of time travel or a whole year. Okay. I'll put my magic wand. Kiki Lala wand. Oh, I'm gonna need my friend to bring her Sanrio cards so that I can have that stuff again. Okay. We're going to go see the Wizard of Oz tomorrow. So maybe uh place the pie. And maybe I can get them then. Not drop! I want a place so that I don't accidentally eat it. That what? That was a weed, okay. <laughs> freaking out, man! I'm freaking out! Alright. Place item. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. Be that way. Place, do not eat. 
place. Do not eat. There's totally space there. You're such a liar. The urge to say many a curse word is high. Let me put my cake on the ground. Gosh darn it. That's all I want to do. Ground cake. Place. Thank you. Just slide it over. So every month of the year has a different cake for the birthday. I think this is the one you get from your mom on the first time. Looks like this. But um, my birthday cake is purple cat cake. Don't know what month the rest of them are because they're not my birthday. But I traded mine with other people, so I had a bunch. And then I accidentally ate like three of them. So I have to get them again. <laughs> You have a birthday that's not in April, and you want to be friends and give me your cake. Let me know so that I can get them all. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, ooh, you can't put rugs outside. Did they change that? Hang on. Revolutionary. Can I put a rug out outside? No. Okay. <laughs> they did not change that. Let me use rugs outside. Nintendo. I just feel like you don't understand how important to me it is that I can put a rug in the out of side. You know what I mean? Like a nice little front doormat outside my house. Can you imagine how cute that would be, Nintendo? Nintendo specifically as an entity, like it's a human, like it's a human person of a specific breed. <laughs> Am I stacking the stuff that's already in my pockets with the other stuff? Yeah. Is that necessary? No. But I have. you saw how much stuff I have. Maybe it is necessary. You saw how much stuff I have. I, I need this. I need every inch of space. I'm just going to put these school pants on. What color are they? Let's go. I look absolutely terrible. Okay. Clothes are just going to go on the ground up here. I don't know. I don't need these. Can I plant the weeds? Yeah, they're planted. All right. No. My music is playing. It's obsessed with my sleep time playlist, and it's... Goodbye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Okay. So, okay. So we're going back. Are my pockets actually empty? Yes. We're going back. I'm going to get this right the first time. I am not going to start Googling the height of dogs during this loading screen. It's gonna be fine. Focus. Okay. Orville. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies. The Luna Lush Airport. How can I help you out today? Focus. I want to fly. Okay. Roger. You want to head to a nearby island on local play or some far off island using online play? Via online play. We're doing so good. We're doing so good. Okay, Roger. Okay, one more question. One more question and we can Google the height of the Golden Retriever. S standing normally, not on two hind legs. That's crazy. That's... <laughs> don't even think that. Saving. Okay. How do you want to travel? Dodo code. Okay, one more. One more. Just got to type in this code. Come on. F... Frank, David, Beethoven, seven of nine, deep space, <laughs> save. See, that makes sense because seven of nine worked on deep space nine, right? She was there, right? She wasn't only in Voyager. I think, wait, no, I'm getting, uh, now I have to Google that too. Let's fly. <laughs> All right, we are flying a rarity. How tall is a golden retriever? How did it know? How did it know? Okay, a golden retriever is approximately 80 centimeters tall. I don't know what that means. I know what it means, but it doesn't tell me how many feet it is. So we need to convert. Um, CM to fit 80. A golden retriever is 2.6 feet tall. So two golden retrievers would be five feet tall, which is almost the height of 
It's like one and a half. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's one and a half dodos is a, is the height of two golden retrievers. So golden retrievers to dodo size is a bad comparison. Um, yeah, that's so. I was my visualization was off. Uh, but three feet's a lot of feet. Local time. We've got clear skies. The temperature is comfortable. We'll be making a water landing, but that's okay, because this is a seaplane. Uh, the other question was seven of nine. I'll just look up Star Trek, and it'll tell me before it loads. Fictional character, Star Trek Voyager, okay. But I know she's in Picard, so, because I've watched most of that. Is she ever on Deep Space Nine, or is my... Remembering of the Dodo code completely thrown off. I don't think she's on Deep I don't think she's ever been on Deep Space Nine. I don't think she was. I think I made that up in my brain. Hold on. Where am I going? Are my pockets actually empty? Yes. You should check that before you leave. <laughs> Not after you get here. Okay. Those are all my flowers. And... We'll just change the acronym to be seven of nine was not on Deep Space Nine. But the last number is nine. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, okay, we'll take the seashell. I'm wasting a lot of time on random seashells, but I feel like they're worth a lot of money. Not that I need it because I just picked up $4 million off the ground. We are looking for my... Okay, so this some of this stuff I had to get a friend of mine to order. I didn't need that. Need that. All the drink machines. Statue of Liberty. Just casually put a, the Sphinx in my pocket. Rocket. Crescent moon chair. That one's a colored thing. A pyramid. Sewing project? No. Wall clock? No. Rock, rock guitar? Take that. Zebra turkey fish models. Yes, all the models. I need those. Teacher's desk, no. Starry garlands. Sylvana's photo. I found the pictures of my villagers. Ooh, and my star stuff. I can't order that. I really hate that I started doing this in the middle of a section, because... Okay, garden lantern. I'm near the bonfire on the right beach. Shell table is a color change. These are all pearlescent, so I don't want to have to make those again. Springy ride-ons are special orders. Tire toy apparently is also... You have to get them from uh, specific people to get specific colors. That one doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, my manhole covers were all color swapped. Stitches photo. All my pockets are full. Okay. We will just drop it, swap it, um, with the sand dollar. Yeah, Stitch's photo is more important. All right. Back we go. And then we get to find out what versions of Star Trek 7 of 9 was on. Because that's where our journey has taken us on this day. I'm very tired. Well, it's playing my sleepy music again. Get out of here. Stop trying to make me go to bed. It's eight o'clock, nine o'clock. <laughs> uh. oh. I kind of wish with her bigger pockets, she could bring me stuff and I could play a different game while she did that. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Yes, Orville. I would like to go home. I just had a moment where I remembered that I am dyslexic and I couldn't, if I, I am in fact, Orville is his name. Okay, yes. Getting ready to return home. Okay, so seven of nine. Thank you. Seven of nine. Is a fictional character introduced in the American science fiction television series Star Trek Voyager. Portrayed by Jerry Ryan, she is a famous board drone who joins the crew of the Federation starship Voyager. 
Her full Borg designation was seven of nine. Cannot read any of those words. Words. Uh, <laughs> ter tertiary adjunct of all unimetrics zero one. I, I don't even know if I said it anyway. Her birth name became known to her crewmates. We'll be making a water landing, but that's okay because this is a seaplane. Uh, while her birth name became known to her crewmates after joining Voyager's crew, she, ch she chose to continue to be called Seven of Nine, though she allowed Seven to be used informally. Okay. She was in a season... Okay, that's great. Uh... Okay. Seven of Nine... Again, played by Ryan, also appears in Star Trek Picard as a recurring character. I'm not really looking at Animal Crossing. I think I'm doing a good job. As a recurring character in the first season, being promoted to series regular in the second and third seasons. Okay. So she's not in Deep Space Nine. She's only in Picard. I thought someone knocked on my door, but I think I'm just being crazy. Uh, she's only in Picard and um, Voyager. So, yep. Uh, okay, where do I want this stuff to go? That's gonna be... I think I got all the material. I feel like... I don't know where my gold nuggets are. <laughs> like, I didn't bother giving her the stone and the iron and the clay. Adjust the gold nuggets, and I don't see them. I'm sure they're hiding. Uh, drop this. Drop this. Drop this. So today's learning experience... Um, dodo birds are approximately three feet tall. Um, golden retrievers are two and a half feet tall. <laughs> and seven of nine never appeared on Deep Space Nine, at least not in the first paragraph of her wiki, wiki article. There may have been like a random... I don't even know if their timelines, like, line up because Voyager is, like, so far removed from the Alpha Quadrant and, like, all of the... That's my ice machine. You can't hear it, but it was a noise. Yeah, so, yeah, Voyager is on, like, a 72-year journey to get home from... Oh, no, now I'm gonna have to Google that. From really far away. It's gonna take them 72, like, light years of travel. Like, it's bonkers to get back. So, they're, like, nowhere near any of the stuff that's happening on Deep Space Nine with the Dominion and stuff. Not even close. Okay, I'm gonna not look. I did close the window on Seven of Nine. Now I can't find out. Star Trek Voyager. <laughs> My mom really liked this series. Was apparently, it's, like, one of the least popular... Star Treks. Uh, click on that. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Learn Only Gateway. How can I help you out? I want to fly. Okay, we did one. One. Check one. Next. Online play. Can we do it? Yes. Online play. Check. Okay. Roger. Okay, I didn't mash a button. Star Trek Voyager. I want to know about the plot, not about the history of the production, please. Saving. Wow, there's 172 episodes. That's a lot of episodes. Dodo code. Yes, I would. Okay, I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. It was Frank. Uh. <laughs> Beethoven. David. Seven, not Deep Space Nine. I feel like that's completely wrong. Okay, for, I'm not going to press yes. I'm going to check. It's completely wrong. It's 100% wrong. I got all the letters. I got all the right letters, but I got them in the wrong order. Nine is not included. The D, it's the D from that. <laughs> Deep Space Nine. Okay, 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 okay. We're starting over. The F was actually correct. So, Frank... David Beethoven 
Seven of nine is not on Deep Space Nine. Not C. Get out of here. Deep Space Nine. Okay. We got it. Come on. Got it in one. Got it in one. We're doing so good. Yes, let's fly. Nailed it. I don't really want to read about Voyager. I just want to know how long they're... I want to know how long their trip was supposed to take. I think it was 72 years. If it was 72 years, if I logged that memory in my brain from who knows when, almost all the images on this wiki are of the person who plays Seven of Nine. Uh, well, all, by almost all, I mean there's two and she's one of them. Uh, okay. I just want to know. It's 75 years. I mean, I said 75 and then I corrected myself to 72. So maybe they made it three years before the season finale where they like something, something bored, something, something jumped and made it home. See, there's my purple. That's my birthday cake. The purple cat one. That's mine. But yeah, I, for a thing I didn't particularly care about, my favorite character was Tuvok. Not Tuvok, that's the Vulcan. I do like him. Chakotay. Yeah, Chakotay was hot. And uh, Kess. Kess and Chakotay. They were the, the hotness. Yeah. I'm going to not talk about Star Trek anymore. <laughs> Oh, I missed the seaplane joke. No. Oh, well. It's okay. I got some kind of Nook Miles thing. Did you know if you just flick down on the uh, right toggle, it takes you to the one that you unlocked? If you didn't, you know now. Okay. Oh, there's more. Yes. Because uh, I used to have to, I didn't want to scroll forever, so I would just keep flicking it until it stopped working. Okay, get out of that. Man, I'm not even reading what these are for. I'm just doing them. <laughs> Traveling person. Okay, support your neighbors. Oh, I'm going to max this out for sure. Um, Good, thank you. Go back. Anything else? Are we good? Perfect. Do I have messages? No. Okay, good. Do I have messages? No. Okay, good. What's in my pockets? Nothing. All right, so we got all the materials, except for the gold. Not sure where that is. There was a bunch of it, and if gold wasn't so hard to get, I wouldn't be concerned, but it's really hard to get, and I really hope I actually gave it to her and didn't just yeet it into the universe. Okay, we're looking for gold. Nothing else matters, only gold. Gold, gold. What are these shoes? Immediately distracted by shoes. Oh, those are the shoes that I took off that I don't care about. She might have put the gold in a specific spot. Come on, gold. Come on, gold. Ooh, Aurora Borealis. There is no gold up here. Okay. All right. Uh, hand cart, storage shed. I want the storage shed. And Lunar Lander. I put some of the stuff from Gulliver up here. Lighthouse. That's my lighthouse. The random asteroid. Uh, changing room, old sewing machine, board games, hand cart. Pendulum clock, swinging bench, pendulum clock, lecture hall, manhole cover. Yeah, that's one of my special manhole covers. This is my totally dope garden gnome. Brick well, bamboo bench. Okay, so those are some of the stuff that was lying around the village. I do just want to catalog all the clothes. I'm going to take this seashell. What's this? Snowflake poche. I will wear that right now. Wear. Thanks. All right. 
Moccasin boots, board game, rope fencing. Yeah, I want that. Throw a board game and the South Pole. Yeah, we want that. Spooky arch that can wait. Barbecue. Mystic statue. I think I need that. Mountain bike that can wait. Small vase. Actually, these were expensive. Ray model. I think I need that. School uniform. No, I want to know what the thing is. Reese. Oh, this is the photo plate from the wedding people. A model. We want the models. Hammerhead shark models. Fish models. Okay, mock and roof model. Some tights. More models. These are all clothes. And these are all things. Koi model. Oh, now my pockets are full. I can probably drop a seashell. Yeah, the seashell can go. Okay. You've never seen the music video to take on me with the like squiggly graphics you should absolutely go watch it i don't know if i'm allowed to put the whole music video <laughs> in my video <laughs> but i'm gonna actually okay before i talk to, i'll talk to orville and i'm gonna look it up and i'll just show you the like what it looks like Yeah, so like, you're not getting any of the sound, but like, it's very squiggly. I'm going to skip forward because this isn't the cool part. Hold on. She's like reading a comic book. Look at this. What is even happening? And then... Either he comes out or he pulls her in. Yeah, so anyway, go watch that. That's dope. Uh, also, it'll be okay because this is a seaplane. Nailed it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Let's go put all that stuff down. I don't know why it's red. What is it doing? Okay, there we go. Let's go put the stuff down. I press the wrong button and I'm gonna have to do some editing. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. What's in here? Things I need. Okay, hang on. I feel like I can place these somewhere without place. Beautiful, perfect, wonderful, flawless. Uh, please be the goth gnome. No, it's a regular gnome. He's not using a skull jacket or anything. That's okay. He's just going to gesture to the sea. That sounds fun. My models. I could place them. It's no different from dropping them. I just don't have to press a button. That's one less button. My god. My gods. <laughs> we have saved ourselves one whole click. That is huge. That is huge. I'm so impressed right now. Good job. Good job, everybody involved. Everybody who came together to make this decision. Me. Mostly me. It, well, entirely me, if we think about it. <laughs> Thank you, me, for realizing that you can just place stuff on the island instead of drop it. I could have been doing that for a while. Oh, there's just a whole asteroid right here. Please don't be the lighthouse. Lighthouse. Lighthouse is going to just go where the lighthouse is going to go. I don't need to 
I don't need to figure out where that's gonna be. That's gonna go right here. Yeah. Get in your spot. Thank you. Is that where I want it? Is that the direction I want it to face? Is there just like a door? I kind of want, like it makes sense for the door to be this way, but I want to see it. So it's going to go this way. For aesthetics, what's next? Throwback rocket. I'm going to just put it next to the lighthouse. This is a closet. I don't understand why they make everything a closet. You open up a tiny fridge. Should I change? I'm like, are you calling me fat? What is happening here? Just push the rocket into the ocean. Satellite. Just just grab it and push it. Ugh. Oh, that's pretty close. Okay. Oh, that's big. Storage shed! I'm gonna put that by my tent. I wonder if it'll let me use it, because that's like a thing you unlock later. But I literally put my storage shed in a box. Place. Yeah! Flip. Flip. Well, okay. Of course it's pink. Yes, of course it's pink. Let's push it back here. I don't have any storage right now. So I don't know what's going to happen when I open it. Like, am I going to get sucked into a vortex? Once I own a house, I'll bet I'll be able to store things in this. That's what I thought was going to happen. But you know what? There it is. So it's all good. South Pole, Mystic Statue. We're just going to slap that statue right here. Oh, it's that one. That's the one that stares at the sea. I got to go have it gaze out longingly at the ocean from right here. Perfect. You are facing the wrong way. Please look the other way. Thank you. Uh, another model. Let's drop those with the fish. Man, I can organize so much better now that I can just, like, see things. The walking leaf is so huge, and then all the shark statues are, like, super tiny. I don't know if anybody's ever made the statue of the humongous fish. Like, the terrifying, like, uh, cursed fish that they used to say if you could see them, you would... It meant that there was a big store coming and everybody was gonna die. You know, the terrifying, terrifying fish. Probably, you might know that about it, I don't know. I found that out recently. It was like a superstitious thing in Japan, if you saw this gigantic, terrifying... It's like the aura fish or something? Um... Excuse me. Oh, that's a pretty cool vase. I don't even remember owning that. Hopefully it's mine. Lunar Lander. This is going to take up a lot of space. I'm just going to put it here. Place. There we go. Eh. Yeah, it was some sort of omen where if you saw these fish, uh, I think they would wash up dead on the shore. And that was some sort of omen of a curse. I want to put the South Pole by my house. Oh my gosh. We're doing it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Place. Got it. And I know I have fence somewhere. Here it is. Drop. Okay. All right. That's a lot of recording. I'm going to stop there and uh, I'm going to do more, more later. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs>